Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Rise of the Relics Territory Battles video guide. You'll be able to find this and all my other Territory Battle guides on my Swagger for Life website. If you haven't seen it yet, go and check it out. There'll be a link in the description uh, below. Now in this video I'll be returning to the Sands of Tatooine here to attempt my first very Riva missions after the buff to Jawas. So just in case you've missed it, um, in last week's game update, Java Scavenger, a unique line in the sand, has been fixed for the Riva mission. And you probably noticed there were no thermal detonators being stacked before, whereas now they will. So we need to find a way around it to prevent this to happening. Like modding for tenacity is pointless because I think potency on these Javas is so high, you will struggle to do that. So another way to prevent thermal stacking is to gain tenacity buffs on all your guys. Now how you do that? You use the ready to die uh, inquisitor, uh, ready to die grand inquisitor's ability on a target that has six stacks of purge. That's when you then get tenacity up for all your guys. So the target here in the beginning of the battle is to adjust your turn order and the use of abilities to gain six stacks of purge by the time grand inquisitor gets a turn. Um, so from his uh, unique. Uh, at the start of the battle here, he, uh, Grand Inquisitor himself, he's already applying one stack of purge on all the enemies. So he's starting with one stack. So we need five more stacks to apply before Grand Inquisitor gets a turn. Uh, now, in order for you to do that, let's go, go back to Java Scavenger, his salvaged equipment unique. Uh, so Java Scavenger has 80% chance to apply defense up and offense up to two random allies. Um, so that's what will happen, you will want to target uh, whichever Java, so preferably Nabit or Dutch or somebody like that, uh, whoever's got really, or also if Nabit taunts, he himself grants himself more buffs, so then in a way you will have to go after Nabit, but if Nabit is not taunting, you will want to target whoever's got most buffs on them uh, with Electroshock Prod ability from your 7th sister, because this ability inflicts one stack of purge, it dispels all buffs and then applies additional stacks of purge for each buff dispelled, which means um, obviously with this ability you will be applying three, maybe even four stacks of purge, which means that after that initial one stack of purge from a Grand Inquisitor is unique at the start of the battle, uh, after your seventh sister gets a turn, uses this on somebody with buffs, you will already be minimum already on four stacks of purge. That's why you want seventh sister to be the fastest. Uh, so I made her a 338 speed. Now in terms of other modes, it's all protection primaries, all protection primaries. You really want to focus on getting uh, as much uh, uh, protection and as little as health as possible while still keeping her very fast. She needs to go first. Uh, so after Seven Sister, the second one that needs to go straight after her is Fifth Brother. I mean, you don't need to have them exactly one speed apart. It would just so happen while I was remodding. But you want your fifth brother to go second, because remember, eight sister, she goes first, that's her electroshock probability. You had now four stacks, minimum four stacks of purge on one of the Jawas. Uh, then fifth brother should go next. Same thing, you know, lots of protection, uh, no health on him as well. Uh, and then he can go ahead, just use basic. Remember, no AoEs, none of that until we get tenacity up. Use basic, so this will be then uh, five stacks of purge. Um, and then third one needs to go eighth brother uh, and for him I modded him for offense but again all protection even on here um, that's really what you want to do here is eighth brother go third again little health as possible as much protection as possible uh, so then he can go ahead and use his own basic which will land another stack of purge so you will already be here now six stacks of purge uh, now, if uh, one of your guys maybe gets stunned or something, obviously it might affect do you get enough purges out or not. So there's a bit of RNG as always with those stuns from Jawas out there. But also remember, 8 Sister, she's uh, as well assisting whenever one of your guys uses ability. So she maybe as well can get in, get another stack of purge as well. And that's why you want your Grand Inquisitor to go forth, because by this time, Hopefully you will have not six stacks of purge on everybody else and then he can go ahead use his ready to die ability and get tenacity up and then it will be business as usual. Like 8 brother, often sets uh, with all protection primaries. Um, again he should be fourth fastest and again little health as possible, as much protection as possible. And then finally you can have your um, nine sister as slow as possible, as, you know doesn't even matter. Um, so there we go, all defense sets, all protection primary and just whatever speed you can on her will be good enough. 
Okay, so with strategy and mod tips out of the way, let's finally hop in the battle and hopefully get this done. Uh, so this is my Inquisitors, as mentioned before. We'll just hop in and see what happens. All right, here we go. Oh, let's see what Jaws will do. They start off with a couple of AoEs. They got a stun on my fifth brother, so that's not ideal. Uh, so what you want to do here is target somebody that's got more buffs on them. See, they've got one stack of purge. So we, when we use this ability right here, we get more purge on them. Uh, so we get four. And then at this point, fifth brother should have gone, but he got stunned. So his basic would apply the fifth stack of purge. And then with eighth brother, we were a, a, then a put a six stack of purge. But this didn't happen. So unfortunately, by the time my Grand Inquisitor will get now a turn, Oh, nicely done, got an assist there, and actually we do get six stacks of purge. Yay, perfect. Okay, so here we go. So now what I want to do is, uh, whoever's got six stacks of purge on them, you will want to target them with ready to die, and this will grant tenacity up to all of their teams. And at this point, it's business as usual. So now for two turns, they won't be able to do anything to us in terms of thermal detonators. So we can just go ahead now, uh, start using AoEs. Okay, they get a few plays going. Uh, let's go ahead and actually heal up uh, yeah, let's kill up 7th sister, she's the lowest on health and protection. Now I can go ahead, do another AoE, dispel all those buffs. Okay, let's go ahead, do another AoE. Let's go after Java Scavenger if we can. Uh, so as you can see, I got a lot of damage over times here. Uh, so let's go ahead, do the AoE now to cl clean, clean up those damage over times. And uh, now you just want to go after whoever's got the most health and protection, like for example, Jawa, Jawa Scavenger, as well as Dacha, uh, they will all die from damage over times whenever they get a turn. So let's start putting a few hits on Nebit now. Okay, there we go. Keep going after Nebit. Uh, let's go ahead and do a basic over here, go after Java Engineer, just get him down as well. Uh, so far, so good. So you can see, pretty straightforward. After the opening sequence, as soon as you get an SAT up, that's what's important to have your turn order up correctly. Okay, so here we go. Uh, same thing. Once you get to Kenobi, it's business as usual as before. I mean, it's nothing really uh, too crazy here, to be honest. You just go ahead, ability block him, and then let's go ahead and get some protection up. All right, uh, I'm just going to basic here, try to get six stacks of purge. There we go, one hit, two hits, uh, let's go ahead and do a basic, so we get a triple attack now on Kenobi, the die, he does have three, he does have six stacks of purge, and we'll just keep going, we can go ahead, heal up the team a bit, and at this point we can just probably hit autoplay, and this is pretty much it. So there you go, guys, um, you know, here we go, mission, initially it was a bit of a worrying thing, what will happen with those thermal detonators, but as, as long as you, you adjust your turn order as I've shown you, so that Hopefully by the time Grand Inquisitor there takes a turn, there will be six stacks of purge on one of the Jawas and you can then get tenacity up and then you can just wipe them out as usual. There you go, Kenobi not really standing a chance versus these guys. Uh, so there's obviously a bit of RNG there involved, like if Jawa stuns two or even three of your guys, uh, obviously then battle might be a bit tougher. So I'll definitely be doing uh, more testing. Um, so just over the next four or five territory battles, I'll be recording all of my attempts and I release just like an updated gameplay uh, video there showing you different bits of RNG and how I dealt with it and was able to uh, keep my 100% win rate in this Riva mission. Thank you for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one, but until then have fun, enjoy your life and may the RNG be with you my friends.